how are space and time correlated with each other? I asked this to my physics teacher, but she replied that the question does not does not make any sense. Please clear this doubt. <laughs> well, it's unfortunate that your teacher said this. I will not make any pass any judgment about uh, your teacher, but this question makes a lot of sense. It does make a lot of sense. These are the questions that that basically help us understand physics better. These questions should be encouraged and these questions should be answered. This is an intelligent question, right? So as we know, we talk about space-time, the fabric of space-time. So what is space-time and how are space and time correlated? So the world that we observe in our daily life, in our mundane day-to-day -day existence is a three-dimensional world. We experience the world in three dimensions, length, breadth, and height, right? We don't think of time as a dimension, and we don't see any way in which it is related to the length, breadth, and height of the world that we uh, live in. And yet, according to general relativity, which is one of the most successful theories that we have, it actually works. So according to this theory, the universe is actually a four-dimensional stage in which everything exists. And time is the fourth dimension. It is intrinsically linked with the other three spatial dimensions. The three dimension of space and the one dimension of time are all linked together in this composite fabric of space-time. So the question, like you're saying, is what is the relation between time and space? How are they together? And let me answer that question. The easiest and, and simplest and best way to understand the correlation of time and space is to understand how matter affects time and space. So we know that matter warps space, right, in general relativity. And in the same way, matter affects time too. So if you look at the four-dimensional fabric of space-time as a sheet like, like everyone does, and if you place a massive ball or any massive object in it, it's going to warp this fabric. It warps not just space, but time too. So mass affects space and time equally. So what does it do in, in, in space? It warps space. And this warping of space is what we perceive as the force of gravity. And similarly, it changes the way time flows as well. So it is an effect on both space and time. So the presence of a mass essentially gives you the effect of slowing down time. If you're standing on the surface of the Earth, of the planet, Time flows at a certain speed. If you go up in a spacecraft, let's say 100 kilometers or 500 kilometers above the Earth, time will flow slightly, fractionally faster. We can actually measure this with very precise atomic clocks. So that's what is the correlation between space and time. Both are affected equally by the presence of mass. And the larger the mass, the more visible is the effect. So if we were to take a do an orbit around a black hole without being sucked into it. And then if you were to move away, you would find that a great deal of time has passed. It may feel like half an hour for you, but for an outside observer who is far away, it may be 50 or 60 years or even a century. So that the way time passes for you near a massive object is very different from the way time passes for somebody else who is far away from that massive object. So this is the effect that mass has, uh, or yeah, mass has on space and time both, and that is the correlation between space and time when you see it in the in the context of general relativity. It is very hard to see this difference on a planet like like the Earth because we only see the same reality. All of us, we are all stuck in this on the surface of a very small planet, and we know nothing else. It's only when you go beyond the planet into space or if you go near a massive object, which we still don't have access to, yeah? So it's only in those situations that you actually that you actually see the effect that gravity has on space and time both. So time would flow much slower if you go in an orbit around the sun, for example. Maybe it would cut off a few seconds, you know, or something like that. You, you can actually calculate these things with uh, the laws of, laws of special relativity, right? So that is the correlation between space and time. That's the easiest way to express the correlation between space and time. They are part of the same fabric and they are both affected by the presence of mass. I hope that throws some light on the matter. I hope that inspires you to actually study general relativity and find out the actual mathematics 
that causes this because it is the mathematics that actually clarifies this i'm just giving you when you when you communicate these these complex topics it's uh, there is always some something that's lost in translation the best way to un to understand this is to actually study the math that is the language of physics but that is uh, it's it's a labor of love because you have to learn that math the math can be quite tough the math of general relativity takes some time getting used to tensor calculus ten tensor algebra all that but it is worthwhile if you if you really uh, have a passion for it